Hey, this is Christoph, and this is episode number five of the Redis and Laravel series. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at how we can use Redis to implement a tagging system. So whether you have products, articles, movies, or whatever you want, we can implement this tagging system using different powerful Redis data structures to implement this. And if you look at this very basic application I have here, I have four different articles. Two of them are technical articles, and two of them are articles about movies. And if we take a look at the top right corner here, I have four different tags. And if I click on the science fi fiction tag, obviously it's going to pull up the two movie articles I have that are tagged as science fiction. And if I click on PHP, it's just going to load the article about PHP, as you can see here. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to first take you to this GitHub page on PHP Redis and the table of contents right here. Even though we're using PRedis, a lot of these classes and methods are exactly the same. They'll work the exact same. And the reason I want to show you this is because they did an excellent job of creating documentation around these classes and methods. And as you can see here, it lists the different types. You have the hashes, lists, sets, and sorted sets. In this episode, we're going to look primarily at the sets and sorted sets. The sorted sets are the same as what we used for counting views, and I'm going to show you why we're going to use them again in this episode. However, you could just use sets if you wanted to, and you'll see the differences, pros and cons, and things like that. So here's the URL up here. I highly recommend you give this a shot and use it as a reference when, you, when working with Redis, even if it's pRedis. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let me pull up the uh, the one we're going to be using for this presentation and it's the exact same as the first one except I don't have all the code in there yet and that's because I want to walk you through most of the code actually some of the code I've already put in there just to save time uh, but let's go ahead and get started and actually I'm going to close this guy out because we're going to be using the other one here and first I want to get started with the routes.php as I usually do. And the reason is because I want to show you that I already have two routes for admin controller and this is what's going to allow us to create posts like add them to the database. And then I'm also I also added this which we'll see in a second. And then this is just the one we saw earlier in the uh, previous episodes where it lets us look at a an individual article by passing in an ID in the route. Now let's take a look at what goes on in this guy here, this controller right here. And I've got it pulled up here and this is the do add post function. Uh, all this is basic, just adding it to the database. Once we add it to the database though, I wanna check and see if the user wanted to input tags. So this will work even if we we're not putting tags in, this is not a mandatory thing. If it's empty, we just skip it. If not, we go inside and what we do here is going, we're gonna filter the tags that we put in. And this is a very basic, example of how to implement this for example and i'm gonna close this guy out here but uh let's i'm gonna take you to this add article page and i basically just put an input here where i can just type a tag comma another tag comma another tag etc for however many tags i want this may not be the best way for you to do it for your application you may want to have a drop down selection where you pre-populate the tags that you're going to allow an author to post I didn't do this for the sake of simplicity. However, this may be a different alternative or better alternative for you. And so that's why I'm just uh, filtering out the comma here and then just trimming to make sure we, we don't have any white space left over before or after the tag. And inside of this for each loop, I just take these filter tags. And what I'm doing here is I'm adding it to three different things, three different lists. Actually, these are sorted sets and sets. Uh, I shouldn't be using the word list because that's a different type of, of uh, data type for Redis. All right, so the first one is a Z add. And if you remember from two episodes ago, Z add is the sorted set. What that means is it's just going to keep the order that we put in using a scoring system. The scoring system I'm using here is just the ID of the post. And the reason is I'm assuming that post one was posted before post 10, post 11, etc. Okay, and then I have an S add. This one is just a regular set. This one is not going to be sorted, hence just a no sorted set name. And the reason I'm doing this, and this again, this may not be the best way to do it for your application, because if we go back to this this PHP Redis documentation, we'll see that there are different methods. And for example, we have a uh, let, let's use the intersect for example, so we can intersect different sets and what that means is 
it will let you, for example, if you have different sets with similar tags, you'll be able to pull out whatever values are for those tags. That may sound a little bit confusing. Hopefully it'll make more sense as we move along. But anyway, so you may want to stick to just S add or Z add, depending on what your application is. You may not want to use different ones because you can't intersect a, a Z add or a, a sorted set with just a regular set. You can only intersect sorted sets or just the regular sets. Let's just run through an example of me adding an article and I'm just going to do a random one. And then this is going to be a science fiction adventure. The matrix was awesome. I'm going to add that. And then if I go back to the home, we can see that the new article has been posted here and we can prove that the tags were also posted by going in our Redis CLI on our, our server. And I'm just going to list all the keys and I've got some previous ones just from playing around with it. But the ones that we used right now were adventure and science, science fiction. So I'm going to do a Z range for article tag adventure and Z put it, I'm going to put in zero and negative one. That basically means I want to list all of the values in that range. And as you see, there's ID 26. And if we verify at the bottom here, we see that the URL points to 26. And if I click on it, take a few seconds. There you go. You can see it has ad adventure and science fiction as well. So let me go ahead and show you how I got that in here. And in order to do that, we're going to have to go in our blog controller and let me hide this for now. So in our blog controller, I've got a function called show blog, and then I've got a function called show article. In this show article, let's open it up. And this is how I'm accomplishing this. If you will just ignore the, this top part right here, this is from previous episodes where I'm just incrementing the views and then I show the views, etc. The only difference I have in this function is this line right here. This is where I'm just getting the tags for that specific article. And the way I'm doing that is by going in Redis and just fetching members of this article ID tags. And if we go back to the Redis CLI, what that means is instead of something like this, where we have keys that are, for example, um, if I do S members article, it was article ID 26 tags, then it pulls up all those tags. And if you remember, this happened right here. I'm adding Redis S add article, article ID tags, and then I'm passing in all those tags. So this is how we accomplished these guys right here. And then for this, this was the Z add, if you remember, Z add tag, uh, the tag that I'm using here, and then the score here to be able to list. And that's why we also see that it goes from 24 to 26 uh, because that's the score we're using. All right, so let's go back to our blog controller. And so I'm fetching this, I'm getting that result that we just looked at here, adventure and science fiction, and I'm going to pass it to my view blog.article. So let's go ahead and go in our blog and go to article.blade.php. And as you notice, I'm not using the blade syntax here. I'm just regular using the regular PHP syntax, but that's irrelevant. Either works. And I'm just checking to set it, uh, to see if the tags are set and they're not empty. And if they are, then I'm going to go in, in here and I'm just going to echo the tags uh, after and the following tags. And as you see, this is where that is right here. So even if I don't have any tags, this will still display properly. It won't break the layout or anything like that. So that's kind of neat. All right, and let's go back to our blog controller. And now that we talked about show article, I want to be able to choose which tags I can display or which articles I can display, I'm sorry. And I'm just gonna add them in this top right corner here. And the way that I'm gonna do that is by going in this show blog function right here. Okay, so I'm fetching all the posts, but what I need to do is also display tags that we have in our Redis server. And the way I'm going to do that is by accessing Redis and then do s rand member. And then I'm just going to do article tags 
four. The four here is because I want to return four of them. You can change this to five, six, whatever, however many tags you want to show. And as the name implies, it will go in our Redis server and look for what we have in our article tags set and just pull out four random ones, completely random ones, and spit them out. All right. And so I'm going to save this here. Go here and refresh this page. What's going on? I forgot to add it here because our uh, article that blade is expecting it to pop up. So let's do posts for what I had and then tags and we're going to pass it in like that. All right, let's try again. This time they're popping up. We have Laravel. These are the tags or four of the tags we have in here. And if I refresh again, you'll get four different ones, some of the, the, the same ones, because we don't have that many, etc. That's how it works. If I go in our home, whoops, let's see, where is it? Home.blade.php, I'm literally just adding a check to make sure that tag is set. And that's why earlier we didn't get an error because it just completely skipped this since we weren't setting the tags. And then you have a for each loop here where we're just printing out the tag that we want. And then as you notice here, I have a URL for slash filter slash tag. And this is what's going to happen when we click on one of them. It's going to go ahead and work and display the relevant articles to the tags. The reason that this works is because we have a routes. If we go back to, to our routes.php, I already have a get filter tag and I'm calling the block controller at show filtered articles. So let's go back here and I minimized it right here, but let me open it up. And this is the show filtered articles function. We're passing in the tag as we saw just a second ago. And what we're doing inside of this very short function is first of all, I want to pull out a list of all the post IDs that match that specific tag filter. Okay. And again, this is the key we're looking for. This is the starting index. This is the ending index. Negative one means I want to return all indexes. If I do one like that, then we're just going to return index zero through one. So then once we have an array of post IDs that match that specific tag, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in my post model, which I am calling with dependency injection here. And it has a, a method called filter fetch and I'm passing in the post IDs. So let's take a look at that really quickly. And there it is. And filter fetch function is right here. It takes in the ID that we just showed we passed in. And I'm just going to return object of the specific articles that match these IDs. As you see here, I commented out order by created at, and this is what I was talking about earlier, because if, if we go back to our admin admin controller and we see, I'm using Z add here to keep track of the list of articles, right? So article one was posted before article two and three and four. And since I want to show the latest post, I keep, ta I keep track of that using the ID score. If we want to stick to just regular sets, even if that means they're going to be completely disordered, I can still sort them by going in my post model and using an order by created at. So this works, they would, this would work great. And that would mean we could use just sets without using sorted sets, which would make it more uniform and less complex. However, this could be a trade-off because it will be more database intensive, right? Redis can do all this stuff faster than something like MySQL could. And so that's why I commented it out and that's why I'm using a sorted set, but this is totally up to you. You can do whatever you want. Both of them will work great. This wraps up this episode with a very basic example of tagging. As an added bonus, let's go in the command line and let's walk through a few different other methods that we can use to have more advanced filtering. And I'll just, I'll just do this on our server through the command line. 
As I previously mentioned, we're going to have access to different types of methods depending on whether we're using sorted sets or just regular sets. Let's get started with just regular sets. One of the th things we can do is we can intersect them. First, let me look at our keys and then I'm going to do S enter and we're going to use article 24 tags and article 25 tags. Let's see what this gives us. Okay, so both of these tags, or articles, I'm sorry, share the same tags. Now, we know they share tags, but we know they also have differing tags. What if we want to pick those out? Well, we can use something like sdiff, and we'll put 24 tags first. And you'll see that article 24 has the action tag that it doesn't share with article 25 tags even though it has other similar tags. Now keep in mind that the order of which key goes first is important because for example if we did article 25 first and then article 24 we're going to get an empty list because it's judging by the article 25 tags and since article 25 I believe uh, let's verify this but I believe it only has adventure and science fiction as tags Yes, so since it's sharing both of those tags with article 24, there is no difference uh, according to this sdiff method. It doesn't check to see if article 24 also has a different one. So that's how that one works. So keep that in mind when using it. That might be a little tricky sometimes. What if we just want to add all those tags together instead of differing them or intersecting them? We can use something like sunion. And you've probably guessed it that is going to unify them, if you will. And we can go like that, and you're going to have all the tags added together. This can be useful in, in a number of different ways. Uh, maybe you want to, instead of just sticking to adventure and science fiction, you think that users might also be interested in action, since adventure, science fiction, and action obviously go together sometimes. That might, uh, it's kind of like a Netflix when they go, oh, you might also be interested in this. Now, this is a very primitive way of doing that, but as you see, it might be helpful in that situation. Now, if we have sorted sets, one thing we could do is use an intersection as well. The sorted set intersection has to store it. So it's called Z enter store. Now keep in mind that if you're using PHP Redis, and I think maybe even PRedis, I can't remember, they use the method name Z enter instead of Z enter store. So that's a little slight different difference, just so you know. When you're using Z enter store, you have to give it a new key for the output. So I'm just gonna call it output key. And then you have to tell it how many input keys you want. I'm gonna use two. And then I'm just gonna do article tag action and article tag uh, adventure. Okay, now if we do Z range output key uh, zero, we see that they both of those share uh, the article 24 and if we check that we see that one has that and then if we do the other one oh, that's right I forgot my range we see that that one had three of them but when you intersect them they only have 24 in common so that may also be useful in certain applications I hope this uh, fifth episode was helpful. In the next episode, we're going to mimic a Facebook newsfeed or Twitter feed using other Redis data types. Thanks for watching.